guns and poison guns and poisonous snakes sounds delicious <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so you tastes look like at chicken <laughs> you, you look at, at the op, what can men what did men used to do in the church well the men used to paint the church they literally my grandfather helped build saint elizabeth church in port ages because he was a carpenter and my dad helped him with that because it was a family of carpenters and so there were all these things that men could engage with so you had the men sort of taking care of the outside of the church welcome to the bear wasnick adventure Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Soup up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Area, But we need to gather all the knuckle draggers and all the misfits together. Men... Uh, tend to be ashamed of the challenges that they have in their lives. We all think we need to be John Wayne or Clint Eastwood or Rambo and just tough it out by ourselves. But that's not the way men are formed. Men are formed in the company of other men. Iron sharpens iron. And so like it, it bears man cave, which you can join by going to deepadventure.com. Uh, men are challenging each other, equipping each other, encouraging, mobilizing, but we're all bozos on the same bus. We're all, we, every failing that you've had, one of our men there has had it worse. And so we are, we, you know, we, we help each other and encourage each other. I know like when I see a new surfer go out in the water, they're kind of embarrassed. They know what, what we call them a kook, right? They know oh, they can't even surf. But for every surfer that sees a kook out in the water, it's not like that for us. We're like, oh, I'm so excited. This guy's experiencing surfing for the first time. So Wherever you are in this whole spectrum of your walk and your journey with the Lord, you're welcome to come to these men's conferences. You know, the word, the word virtue has as its root word vir, which means man in Latin, right? I mean, you can't really right. be a man unless you're a man of virtue. That's right. And so to That's grow, right. so, you know, there's that scripture verse. When I tested for my first degree black belt, it was from David, uh, Lead me to the rock too high to climb, and I will climb it. And then he, had, he said another verse, too, that's so cool. He trains my hands for war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. You can't bend a bow of bronze unless you've been pulling a bow, you know, pulling a lighter bow first, right? There's that training process, and we can walk away from the training of the Lord, or we can enter every day diligently into saying, yes, Lord, how can I serve? How will I train today? And I think with a basic ways a man trains is by fulfilling his kuleana. If what, what has God called you to do today? Do it. Do it really well. Do it more than what God expects. That should be the first thing we ask God in the morning when we wake up. God, I give you myself. Hey man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out.